Hello YouTube, this is 1984 Terminator here, and tonight I'm going to be giving you guys a review over all-new X-Men number two from Marvel Now. Guys, I'm telling you right now, this is a fantastic series so far. Yes, it's only two issues in, but I've enjoyed both issues immensely. Uh, this is definitely a five out of five stars for me. Brian Michael Bendis, thank you. Uh, you wrote the hell out of this book, and Stuart Emerson, and your art is just absolutely fantastic. So. Let's get this video started, shall we? It starts off in the Jean Grey School of Higher Learning in the present time. Kitty, uh, Kitty um, is calling out to Beast and uh, she says we have to go track down Scott and then and then she f and then here comes the other Bobby uh, the, the present Bobby and then she and then uh, the Beast isn't answering so Kitty uh, phases through the door and then what they find inside is uh... what is all this uh... why do they have a schematic of his bones and then you're asking me i don't know this is also high tech it might as well be Mon in mongolian I, and i'm you know not exactly go ahead and say it i'm a genius too and i don't know and, and i don't know what he's up to why do all geniuses have to say they're why do geniuses always have to tell you that they're, that they're geniuses and then that they don't and then all of a sudden here comes a, a recording from Beast saying don't touch that which doesn't belong to students of the atom and here's the page from the here's, here's the end, end page in the previous issue I know this is a lot for you to take in but I'm sorry Scott I just I was rather blunt and then Scott Summers this Scott Summers right here is going to bring about the apocalypse and the, pre and the past Iceman says he's way too boring uh, to bring about a mutant apocalypse and then uh, Jean says she's gonna call, she's gonna call the professor, uh, and says I wouldn't do that. And you can read my mind. I I, I don't I don't do that. And B says you do you do that later. And then Jean's puzzled like she can read minds. Um, seriously, stop it. Uh, let's say I'm convinced. And then they a they asked B about the professor Xavier from your time. And, and what about us? What about the future us? Are we all blue and fuzzy? And then, and then, uh, what would I see if I could read your mind? C come with me. It's better to show you. She's a. And then, past Hank is like she's a telepath. And then, Jean, please come with me to the present, and you will see what has happened to us, and you will see what you need to do. Jean doesn't believe him, of course. And then I'm getting the professor. Okay, the reason why I can't go, can't go to the professor, and and. In my time, is that where I'm from, Scott? Summers has already killed the professor. And then, past Scott, let's Beast have it, saying, uh, I've never endangered the space time continuum like this. Never. That's the part so that confuses me. That's the part. Um, and then, in front of my friends, why am I supposed to? I don't expect you to believe me. I don't expect you to ever forgive me for doing what, I, what I'm doing now. Uh, and then B says, I promise you, Henry and our mother, I'm at the end of my rope, and uh, I know what I'm asking you is the ultimate sacrifice. You are going to witness a world of... He's talking to his, you know, he's talking to his past self. And then Angel asks, why, why can't you just kill Scott in your time? Because I can't cross that line. I cannot do it. And then Gene says, "You tell us that Scott killed the professor, but you won't tell it. Tell us when we'll see when we get where you want to take us. Look at." And then B says, "I didn't know this decision would be so hard." And then, and then B says, "I'll be outside waiting your decision." And then they're still puzzled. And then B starts getting, and then B starts writing in pain, and then. And they all come over here to the um, time square thing, and and then Pascot tells Beast that if this is a trap. I'm going to blow your head off. Jean Grey School of Higher Learning. Now, Jean asks, "Why is it named after me?" Oh, here's Amazing Spider-Man number 700. And Wolverine is giving a lecture to. Um, to the class about ninjas, saying that if a ninja master confronts you head on, uh, that means the other ninja is going to attack you from each side and behind. 
and then he um, smells something. And then he then he un unleashes his claws and starts to uh, starts attacking. And Jean says, "Stop!" And then Cyclops and Iceman blast him. And then the and, and then the X Men are coming out and meeting their future selves. And these are the X Men, and then these the two Ice Men look at each other and go. <laughs> I, th I thought that was funny. Um, and then B starts writing in pain again. We need to get into a hospital, and then Kitty says that his breathing impulse is stable. I can't get a read on the rest. He needs an expert. Uh, Storm, I left word of Reed Richards, and then Hank starts operating on himself right here. And he, uh, and then Bob, and then the present Iceman says, "What exactly did Hank say? He didn't say anything about me. He said." And then Pat Scott says, "I need to confront myself for the mutant population it was going to destroy itself if Scott could see what he has become." And then Logan says, "Little X-Men outside now." Wolverine says, "Listen up. I'm going to send you back where you came from." I'm going to send you back where you came from. Sleep. And then, Gene, you know that won't work on me. And then, Pump. He was going to tell us that going back to our time, even though he thinks that his Hank will be a hero. Read his thoughts. And then, they see it on TV. And Scott's pondering if he really did kill the professor. And Gene's like, not to mention I'm dead. This can't be how it ends for us. And then, they start talking amongst themselves about how they're going to stop the pe stop the present Scott. And then Gene says that this is Wolverine and he hates you, Scott. And this is the, uh, he runs the school and the head mommy's like headmaster with claws. And then the past guy, and then they start talking some more and the past guy says, no, I, all I ever wanted was pe peace between the mutants and the humans. And then they get a report from campus of the University of Dallas confirming another new mutant. And then that's what sets the, that, that is what sets the past Scott off. And then they're all in the jet, and then they're asking if he can fly that version of the jet. And then he says, okay, then seat belts. And then Wolverine says, it was her. It was really her, Jean, to be continued. There they are in the jet. Next issue. So yeah, guys, this was a really good issue. Five out of five stars for me. Uh, this this is batting a thousand so far with the uh, five out of five stars. I haven't read issue three yet, but once I do that, I will give you guys a review on it. And uh, yeah. so yeah, guys, that's 1984 Terminator here. I will uh, yeah, keep reading, keep collecting, and I'll catch you guys later.